Hello everyone and welcome back to the Spearhead Cast with me Matt. We have a 2v2 two two for you all here on Elst Outskirts on the Western Front. We have a double... well we have a Western Allies versus SS. Let's go through the players. Representing the United States, we have Robertus. We don't have a commander choice yet. We have Professor. We start the gate with Royal Tank Regiment with Hammer Specialization. That should be interesting. Email for the SS. We have Kenki. We have a commander choice. And Muro going straight for Panzer Tactics for the Waffen SS. And going for Double Storm Pioneer. Very fascinating. Oh, we also have a command choice now from Kenki. Looks like it is Panzer Jäger. So we have Jäger and uh, Panzer and Panzer Jäger, which is an interesting mix up. We'll see how that works out for them. And we don't have any choice from Robertus yet. Currently, the players are just spreading out across the battlefields and trying to get some territory, basically. But I think we might have some shots fired here first. So the SS rushed up very early towards the fuel point here. Probably to try and get an advantage in that regard. I wonder if the British or the United States is going to get the first shots fired. I think it might be the British. Yep, the first shot's going to be... Yep, the first shot's fired. British sappers have engaged with the... Uh, the Royal Engineers have engaged with the Storm Pioneers here of the 17th SS. We also have some rifle sections now here coming up. The 7th Armored, I believe, are the Desert Rats, actually? No, that's... That probably is the Desert Rats or something, I kind of... Simply because that's symbol. And down here looks like the Waffen SS is also engaging. The Americans are trying to flank, though. But there are other Storm Pioneers nearby who can stop it. If they act quickly. Grenade going out, though. And I think the SS might have lost this engagement. They have to pull back. Looks like Muru is going for triple Storm Pioneer, which is a... Very risky thing, I'd say, because Storm Pioneers, while they're good, are also costly as an engineer squad. But they are pretty competent at fighting. I think some Storm Grenadiers might be the better choice just for the simple long-range engagements, but I'm not an expert. Storm Pioneers do have a grenade assault out the gate, which is handy. Trying to get close here and use their squad leader Storm Give us an advantage. Pineapple going out, though. That's forcing them to rag off already. We also have a Kubelwagen in the field with an MT-42 on top. Are able to certain SS and Wehrmacht commanders? As you can see, like, thank you on the 34 version. There's a hold up here. SS Grenadiers are trying to get up behind this lock here. Storm Pioneers are falling up behind. Covering each other's approach. And here comes the Kubelwagen again. And then the Storm Pioneers are pushing up. Doing a very good combined assault here by moving from cover to cover and supporting one another. That's what you want to do. No spam going out though. Great assault going on return. Which should still give the SS the upper hand here. Very good to see. Meanwhile, the Americans have pushed up pretty far down here. And have stopped the SS from getting back at least. But the SS still needs to get that fuel points. Apparently the Germans have none of the fuel points, but the Allies haven't even captured this. Got a point yet, so the fuel point is actually not generating anything. We also have several of the 17SS normal grenadiers being called in. A cheaper variant unit that you can get if you're playing as Panzerjäger. So we have an MG-34 arriving for the Panzer Tactics. There's a lot of Storm Grenadiers pushing up for the first SS here. Oh, and the cool button is being very aggressive. But they got hit by an anti-tank rifle grenade! MP-40s are being equipped now on the Storm, Grena uh, Storm Pioneers. They can also get the MP40I, if the plank is Panzer, which actually allows them to suppress. That might be what Muru is going for, just lots of submachine guns. The submachine guns would give him the uh, the firepower, I think, to deal with the Americans that meet him to close range. Oh, he scavenged the wreck, good to see, so he had some feel back from the wreck. If we four moments to set up, the SS is still keeping an eye on the point, but the British have set up a Vickers machine gun. That's going to help them pull that point. MD-34 opening fire here. Oh, actually, it cannot open fire there. Light blockers. Americans are throwing a smoke grenade. But it's not going to do much. That might be a dead rifleman squad. No, it's actually holding up pretty well because there's only one window. Ah, he's down though. The Americans are still ready on the flank there. Hans Jäger has been called in here for the first assist. Ooh! That's the, that was a brain carrier! 
We have a Panzer Fuss happening on a Brent Carrier there. The big advantage of the uh, 17 SS is that uh, they arrive with Panzer Faust, which is pretty handy. Oh, nice incendiary grenade right there. A grenade did go off there by the looks of it. We also have a command just now for the Americans. Looks like it is mechanized. Okay, a pretty good choice. I like mechanized commander. We'll have a big firefight here between the SS and the British. Lots of the 17 SS grenadier. Hill's probably going under the cool wagon, forcing it to drive back. Pretty uh, cheap, but pretty uh, good at cheaper trip you get as the SS. As Panzerjäger. Definitely, uh, definitely worth having. Simply just because of that extra Panzerfaust. Still no, no unique infantry from uh, the first SS yet. Flying in Thailand under Sturm Grenadier. Or Sturm Pioneer, rather. Sorry, the words are getting a little bit mixed up in my head. I can still holding up here with a rifleman. They fire with the MP40s, but a lot more Storm Pioneers are coming up here. That's a lot of firepower coming in. Are they moving up in the way? That thrown fine enough, I think. Oh, I did suppress them, actually. But I don't think those... Yeah, those Americans are not getting out of there. They see the amount of MP40s are starting to stack up, I feel. If he gets the MP40i, he will start to suppress with it. Not a universal carrier here. Just should not get too close to the German infantry. MG-34 coming out there for the Waffen-SS. I'd like to get a Granat Büchse for the uh, Storm Pioneers if they're playing as Panzerjäger, but I hope we'll see that. The are finally able to take this, mini this fuel point down here, finally. But I, but I just say finally twice. Ugh, I guess I did. Oh, my head is all over the place, and that's the problem when I'm not a main English speaker. Although I hope my accent is not too hard to deal with. Oh, good air. Uh, Tender assault there from the British officer. Universe is killing the way, killing the storm pioneer. Some 17 SS grenadiers is moving up here already. Throwing a splintering grenade. Ooh, actually did a lot of damage right there. But I would not be in that house, it's about to collapse. Yeah, it collapsed. Uh, good, good job with having the Panzerjäger early. It's actually helping keep the uh, half track at bay with the Panzerbüchse. Well, there's a side blocker right there. And before these will not do much out of one window against a machine gun. 17 SS Grenadiers, Storm Grenadiers is actually moving up now. Throwing another splintering grenade. German grenades can be thrown pretty far, as you can see. One of the advances of the Steel Hand Granate. Ooh, Combine Combine is pushing up here aggressively. MP40I has been upgraded on one squad. Yes, Panzerjäger is actually useful because they have that uh, incendiary grenade. Be careful that half track going around now. Building on fire, so that building cannot be used again. The good use of this of the incendiary grenade there, denying it to the Americans. Coming, you might be in trouble. Yeah, they're gonna get flanking shots there. Heavy machine gun team ready for battle. Squad, oh, you don't want to move a Panzer up in the open alone against the 50 caliber. I assume that's why these Storm Pioneers are coming up. They only have the normal MP40s at the moment. You also have an Untersturmführer arriving for the first SS. More Grenadiers are coming in here for the 17th SS as they try to hold this road. Lots more grenadiers there. Still no unique infantry uh, used by the Panzer Division. Panzer can to act quick. Oh yeah, he immobilized us. That's basically, that's basically a dead half track. Because uh, 30 cal is still causing issues there. That Panzer is doing a good job. Pineapple going up there. So the Germans got the upper hand there. That fighting position will not be able to do much. They never even got finished. 
They love here the bridge is trying to lay Myers at the front line. That's more of the 17 for is digging in. Indy 34 opening fire there. Artillery being called in by the British Lieutenant. Lieutenant, I believe it's announced. You also have Storm Gear VS equipped on the Storm Grenadier. Unique upgrade to them if you're playing as Panzerjäger. And really improve their combat capabilities. Now, British artillery strikes actually don't reveal that they're coming, which is pretty handy. So the British can use that to their advantage. But now the Germans do hold the Southern Fuel with an MG42 nearby. You also have a mechanized squad here, armed with a Springfield sniper rifle. You also have a Stuart light tank coming onto the field for the mechanized. Pretty handy little weapon. Spindle grenade going out there. Oh, that might be a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty hard one. Oh, the British just lost a bunch of infantry there. That must have been painful. Good job there to uh, Kenki. Half-track somehow repairing itself magically. I guess it's sentient. Pack 40 here arrived for the Panzer Division. You can actually also get the Pack uh, 38 as Panzer. You want a cheaper variant, but I guess they want the Pack 40. That should probably also chew through a Stuart pretty e easily. Fighting position established with a 50 caliber here. MG42 opening fire. That's going to make it very difficult for the Americans to move, to move up here. MG42 is a pretty potent. Main assault going out here. He's gonna pack into position. It looks like the Panzerjägers have been uh, hit hard here. Yeah, they actually died. That's not good for the Waffen SS. They've already got full weapon slots on these storm pioneers. A pack is setting up. Got sight here. Loading a shell. Oh, but it pops smoke! Good move there from the United States. Well, on the other flank, we have another half track arriving. To support the British. Some American common engineers, artillery being called in. They shouldn't get too close because these 17 SS do a Panzerfaust. I oh, got out of range, but the animation still popped, it just didn't happen. Just stay at range with it, and you should be able to beat out these grenadiers. Which is the of all the half tracks? You actually got this half track back. And the half track should not be underestimated. That is a mobile 50 caliber. Panzer Jäger arriving here. Arriving with a Panzer Strike, actually, double Panzer Strike. And see, the 50 caliber is doing a good job. It's taking food in uh, German infantry, putting them handily. People generally underestimate the half tracks. You really shouldn't. Are they getting too close? But they got it anyway. Here comes more of the 17 SS. Southern flank is still firmly in German hands at the moment. Great going over the wall locks. In the path of the officer, killing him with a white phosphorus grenade. <laughs> Kengi is it? Oh my god, Kengi is definitely not having the best of times at the moment, wait for them. Universal carry down. The pack took out the building. The pack working on that. Yeah, the pack is working on the fighting positions. Very nice. You guys have a command Panzer F1 arriving for the Panzer Division. I'm going to set another pack 40. We just had a very good position here. The SS Great are not exactly up to par with the uh, with the rifle sections. At least not Storm Grenadiers. I suppose they're still being loaded here though. Oh, it missed. Storm Grenadier is now nearby though, and they are very well equipped and trained. Turtle Mark 4 coming out for the British shortly. That's F1 getting into position. What are the Americans getting? Nothing yet by looks of it.
have to get down to the F1. And the SS Storm Grenadiers are now in a very good position here. Getting some 17 SS to provide some fire support. He needs to target down that officer, he's calling an artillery strike. Yeah, he realized he's moving back. Oh! He actually timed it behind them! Very smart. Indians not seem too pleased. Unterstum für Kamera hier mit der Reaction Reaction now. There's still a fighting position that the F1 has to take care of. And there it goes. First SS Panzer Grenadier is coming on. We're actually going to see in unique infantry available to Panzer. And the first SS is definitely a good one. Probably one of the uh, more interesting or strongest uh, Panzer Grenadiers. Actually, alongside the 17 SS, if they wanted to go for their Panzer Grenadiers. After going for an assault down here. I appreciate to see all the mechanized utilizations going on here from the mechanized commander. But I, yeah, that's a dead half track though. Pack took care of it. If I'm pushing up, that's a flame for auto. Let's be careful with that flame throw. The steward will definitely not be able to fight an F1, I feel. As it gets a flanking off. That has to be a very good flank. Yes, I'm at first assault brigade coming in from the British here. Churchill is on the field now, a Churchill Mark IV. Where am I? There I am. Here's the first assess, already being equipped with some Sturm Gewehrs. They can be equipped entirely with Sturm Gewehrs, actually. Scoped and non-scoped, if you want. Makes them a very potent assault infantry to support your vehicles. Also, the Germans are quickly rushing down to get the fuel again. If one is definitely trying to keep everything at bay here, the best it can. American AT gun coming up. There's no high explosive shells available. 57 did not penetrate, giving it the F1 time to pull off. Germans have this under control again. Mechanized infantry shields are standing around here. <laughs> Looks like the Churchill's gonna head down, down towards the other flank here to deal with the F1. But the, uh, the Germans don't know it's there. The Storm Grenadier spotted it. Another take up coming up for the 17th. They've been a little bit behind in that take up, which I don't blame them. It, they took a lot of losses. Or well, Panzerjägers are being infiltrated, as you can see here. A3 Sherman on the field. Unique Sherman available to you if you're playing as mechanized. It's just a better A2, really. That's really all it is. It's a better A2. Gonna need to charge. Getting a 50 count up. Well, the Churchill's pushing up here. Inky is certainly not pleased. Ooh, F1 did not get penetrated there, lucky for it. Do it down. Jim's going for a flank, but there is another pack here. Ah, oh, they're not hit. Looks like they missed. Got American and push coming here. Using this building now, which is probably not the best building to be in. I suppose they're killing another, another unit. Oh, I suppose they tried to hit the Panzer. It's only killing one guy. One pack is down, though. An American squad down. Based on the assault brigade killing them from the Storm Pioneer. So the Germans are still keeping the allies at bay for now. Also, the officer is being used to reman the pack. He himself runs back to get some more bodyguards. Several assault brigades are being prepared by the British. We also have a break. We can see for the United States on the fields. So the Churchill has to find somewhere else to push up. Germans are still firmly holding the south. 
Antigas in the center having trouble here. Oh, they actually managed to hit the... Uh, I think that was a pack, the pack actually. I guess they're quickly getting in position. Armored car here with some mechanized troopers. And the F1 command tank is ready to move again. That's the battlefield. But the pack is trying to hit that thing. Ah, I think he noticed, you know, it's the armored car. And the F1 can just be on a protection duty against the uh, Churchill. A3 took a, a pretty heavy heavy shot there earlier. Calliope comes onto the field. Artillery weapon available to you if you're playing as mechanized. A very good one at that. Very good dealing with the enemy tanks, actually. German recon, uh, American recon team still sneaking up there. Giving the Americans a lot of sight, I believe. And they, they know what's going on. Ah, more uh, sight block clearing. So it looks like the Germans are preparing to have an easier time defending. Combat unit ready. What killed them? That was the Reke team here, I think. That's that was definitely the Reke team. Which is going to be a lot of problem. Gonna have a little bit of a, of a tank standoff here, I feel, for a while. The church will having to figure out how it's going to proceed. But assault brigades have been prepared and armed with Thompsons. Light piece on the field as well. Lots of an SS off cloud up here. Live here opening fire. What's the naming it? Around here, okay. They want to take out that pack and the uh, command tank. Took out the pack and a Panzer's Rick from a Panzer Jäger team. And that's actually an opening they might have been waiting for. That's how the A3 is pushing and the Churchill is pushing at the same time. Ooh, A3 almost went down though. To a single pass, Rick. Churchill went down! Ooh boy, that was a bad one for the uh, allies. Lots of smoke shells landing though to cover the allies' advance. They're called in around here by the looks of it. And we'll have an armored car push. Oh, the SS moved up down here without me realizing. I was too busy focusing on the tanks. You can actually ca uh, capture areas with the uh, American uh, mechanized light vehicles, I think. While the ability to have is active. Which is the one that's dropping the smokes, I think. The uh, smoke, I think. What I mean? You're thinking that wrong. Anyway, artillery going in here. Ooh, the Germans have not realized. Luckily, they do not kill any squads entirely. More than 17 SS is holding up. Big assault force coming. We also have a Hauptsturmführer here holding up the front line. The next level of commander after the Untersturmführer for the Waffen SS. It's probably in a good position there to help holding. Let's see, actually, buff. You see, he buffs the weapon cooldown, which is handy. Americans pushing for the sender here. If one is ready to move up again, though. Where machine guns are just tearing through the American uh, engineers there. A3 is on Overwatch behind it. But a very good shot at Jan in the turret of the F1. But Germans are still holding the fuel, which is very important. Because if they can hold that fuel, they can get the supplies needed to get armor out to help combat the Allied armor. Oh, artillery strikes here. Probably from the uh, from this guy. Yeah, that was probably from the Hauptsturm fuel.
But we're just getting anything else. Not, a, not a, some new armor at the moment. Oh, big flank here from a uh, half track. Oh, they got a uh, white phosphorus grenade on the MD42. Half track down though. Light vehicle just got destroyed. And of course, this one SS Panzer will start getting tanks out. They could actually get a pan for soon, which could be a very big problem. Depending on if the SS wants to go for pan for the Tigers. Because SS Panzer can go for both. I would think a pan. Ah, Command Panther. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Command Panther calling. So it's essentially a high ranking Panther with a command squad. So it's like your highest ranking officer and a Panther in one. It's exceptionally potent. Slowing down behind the pack four, you know. Drive around. Also, have a Rakettenwerfer here, an 8.8 centimeter anti tank weapon able to Panzer Jäger and certain other commanders for the Waffenesses and Wehrmacht. Very good at penetrating and destroying most allied vehicles thanks to its 8.8 centimeter rocket. Doesn't have as long range as an AC gun though. One has to be very careful wherever they pick it or place it. I guess that's force here with a lot of panzer strikes and a lot of weapons. Looks like the uh, command panther is going to lead the way here. Yes, this Panzer Grenadier is moving alongside, good to see. They're supposed to work alongside tanks, so that's good, good, good utilization of them. Recon team has not been spotted yet. If he has to be careful. Oh, he's going to tie in and shoot through the head row. Missed. F1 is pushing him to the southern flank. The allies on the southern flank is actually having a hard time holding. I think the British might need to make some uh, actions to support. To help hold back the SS Panzer. Well, there's an 80 gun there from the British. If we might. I think it was attempting a flank, really, but it didn't. Gave up on it. Meanwhile, the F1 is still leading the way here. Getting too close to a flamethrower, though. But I don't think the flamethrower will do enough before it, the crew gets killed there. That squad got killed. That looking good for the United States. Oh, good penetrating shot from the uh, from the A three and the uh, AT gun. Some fuel dropping in the British base. British troops are moving now to try and support, but they're running into the first SS armed entirely with Sturm Gewehrs. That's a lot of firepower. You know, that range. Then they tried to do a grenade assault just to keep the British at bay. A3 got hit there. Oh, high explosive almost killed the first SS. It's been immobilized. Was that the SS is slowly getting back to this, and we have a Jagdsieger being called in. The heaviest fighting vehicle that ever saw service in the Second World War, I believe. A3 down. Oh, yeah, the Allies are definitely suffering now. Not looking good at all. Panthers back at the base to get some repairs. Good to see. Now Yachty gets on the field. The British will either be completely overrun by it, or they will somehow be able to disable it. We actually have an AVRE on the field. This is essentially a Churchill that fires a huge mortar. How big is the mortar again? I think I can actually tell. It doesn't actually show me. I just know it's a very big mortar. It's very good against fortified positions. I'm not sure how useful it will be against a tank like a Panther or a Panzer IV. It'll definitely be able to punch through the packs easily, though. If the British can stop their penetration from occurring. Oh, a good high explosive there. It is getting a track armor to increase its armor. And if it gets in range there, that's going to be a dead pack. That's turning its gun. There it is. Ooh, overshot, but still, that's a lot of damage. It's something akin to, like, the British Sturm Seeger, I'd say, and how in gameplay terms, but it plays very differently, because it doesn't have to play with its reloads, and it's very short range. That's a strike on it. Just pull it back for repairs after that. But the uh, ABRE is definitely a useful weapon to have on your side. 
He has the Yak Tiger though, which should be one of the few weapons capable of chewing through Churchill armor like paper. Yes, the Command Panther again moving out. That will probably also be enough of a threat to deal with the uh, AVRE. You have a 3 inch gun though. It's a higher caliber AT gun. Well, Americans are running off the battlefields. Americans have been doing too hard here. But they've been spotted. There's a recon nearby? Oh, I think the command pan for counts as... No, it wouldn't, because then they would have spotted them earlier. I spotted them. I wonder what spotted them then. Because the command panther would have spotted them earlier if that was the case. It's a gun setting up to do with a command panther. Open trace for the 57. Well, six pound, I think. Gold. But it's British. Panzer Jäger here. Got a good shot in the AVRE, preparing as some Panzer Strike shells. Yeah, and there we go, AVRE down. Good utilization of the uh, Panzer Jägers there. Just have to get out of there now. Especially with all those combat in the uh, assault brigades coming off after them. But we have uh, a life here, something fire. Oh, aiming around here, okay. Oh, AVRE. It's rare we ever see the AVRE utilized. Oh, the SS don't have a lot to hold down here, actually. I'm good to see JK uh, Kengi's just. Because <laughs> I was a little, a little bit afraid there, but it's good to see he was just joking. It's all going up for the first success, but I think there's too many allies here. Ooh, will those first square SS Panzerkinders get out of there? Looks like they might, thanks to all the cover left by the craters. MG42 coming up here. Austin Führer holding up. Alongside the uh, Sturm Pioneer. He does actually have a vehicle with him. Oh, that's the, men that's the guys that are meant to be inside the F1, isn't it? Comet arrived here. Yeah, I completely missed that. It's, ever, it's the British have a Comet now. One of the premier British medium tanks of the war at late stages. And with a 17 pounder specifically made for its turret. Unlike the Firefly. 2042 setting up. Oh, and it tears through, but a pineapple did go off. Oh, and that was enough to kill it. Command pad for leading the way, though. So if you're present, then we also have a command stook. And some SS grenadiers with some stun givers. Ooh, penetrating is shot here from the 3-inch. Mines down there, apparently. It's not, so it's not undefended, basically. So the Germans did get some stuff up. Ooh, penetrating is shot from the 3-inch on the side of the stook. And 3-inch got it. Lots of firefights going on now. But that Yacht Tiger is still going to be a problem. First SS is moving up again. I'm not able to scope Stone Givers and unscope Stone Givers. And we're calling out to keep the British on the Americans at bay. And they'll just kill those assault brigades there with the. Superior weaponry. There we go. We also have another panther coming out to the field. Good to see that Buru is going for panthers by the looks of it rather than tigers. Because the panther actually has higher frontal armor than the tiger does. Which is probably what they need in this situation rather than bigger guns. Because they already have this. And that's like the biggest gun the Germans can get on tracks. The man panther moving up. Just don't feel nearby here with his uh, MP40. Oh, killed by a high explosive shell from the 3 inch. That's just like equipped here on the uh, Hauptsturmführer. I think that might actually be a Major. Or whatever it's called, the 
Sturmbannführer, I think it's called when you're playing as this is. Of course, it's a crew, so it doesn't actually say that. It says Besetnung. Oh, Calliope is something fighting a Jagdtiger! And the Calliope is one of the few weapons the Allies have at the moment. I can actually be a legit threat to this thing. But now, they also have a Jagdpanzer. The Germans are pulling in a lot of the good, good equipment to deal with Allied tanks. Oh, good shot from the Comet! The Comet is probably one of the British vehicles if they want to reliably deal with the Panthers frontally. Nice, it got the Command Panther! But there's the Jagdtiger! Jim might be in trouble there. Oh, they actually penetrated the Panther! Almost gonna try and take a shot in. Oh, starting to get a flanking shot on the Jagdtiger! Jagdtiger has to back off quick! And turn! Yeah, but Sherman's not going to get much done there. Nah, it's gone. Ooh, and the Comet is trying as well! Risky maneuver, but it did have to reload. So the Yacht is not going to be able to fire yet. Very risky by the Allies. Didn't pay off this time, but a good attempt. The Yacht is not easy to penetrate frontally. It has the highest frontal arm of any vehicle in the game, I believe. Oh, Calliope opening fire. They might need to move the Jagdtiger back. Yep. Calliope might get it. It's lost its engine. Oh my god, it's only a short barrage, so they, they can still repair it if they act quick. They need to get repairs of that thing rapidly. It's here, my friend. It's not going to do anything to that Jagdpanzer. Jagdpanzer. Not Jagdpanzer. Jagdpanzer is not in uh, Company Heroes 2, unfortunately. I need to get, just repair that thing now. Especially if they want to save it. I do have this Jagdpanzer to hold the front line. It's a reliable weapon that can deal with all the Allied tanks frontally. That's very high front armor. It has the same frontal armor value as a panther, actually. So that's a... That's a lot of armor to deal with. Bears going out here. Oh, they have to just rush so much up to repair this thing. But I don't think the Allies have the stuff to actually assault it at the moment. I think the Jagdtiger might be saved. Just because the uh, Germans are still being aggressive. And pushed up or took a hit. Yeah, kind of trying to get the shot that Comet. The Comet does not have the same armor values at all. This has a good gun. Oh, penetration from the 3 inch. Looks like the Germans are still doing pretty well here. That's a lot of AT guns there assembled by the Allies. They're really scared of the German armor at the moment, it feels like. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Dark Tiger is almost operational. But it has to get a whole new engine, basically. Bench pushing up, high explosive loaded. Oh, the, the shield of the uh, fiend saved it, and then a high explosive on the Churchill. Definitely quite a different fight here. Turning into a lot of heavy armor coming onto the field, like more Churchills are dying for the British now. And another Panther is arriving for the Waffle SS. But this is a lot of heavy metal on the field. The Lion Piece opening fire again. 
Probably aim for the Jagdtiger. Yeah, that's definitely what it's aiming for. The engine is actually operational again. Oh, but I got it! Thomas pushing up here very aggressively. No penetration. I forgot to penetrate in the shot. And that's double Panthers, which is not easy to deal with. But the uh, Waffen SS is definitely taking some heavy hits here. Plus the Jagdpanzer and the Jagdtiger. But if they can use like, these Panthers correctly, they could probably take out the Allies in a very good flanking maneuver. With all these free and AC guns and all the Churchills that are assembling. Like lots of Churchills are assembling. Panthers pushing up. And not enough Panthers setting the other way. We'll penetrate the shot from the Sir Sherman. The force is Panthers back up, I feel. And we will hear someone hold down. The Panzerjägers do have a lot of infantry available, they just need to utilize it. Like if they can push through up here, that could be a lot of damage they could do. Here comes all the British infantry. Gonna throw a spinner grenade, I feel. Oh, they actually infantry some Panzerjägers, okay. That's gonna be going in here. I forgot a penetrating shot, did not do a lot of damage though. Maybe artillery going in. And the Panthers is pulling back for repairs. We also have a Panzer uh, Stukasufusi arriving for the Waffen SS, which is going to be a very good choice against all the all the Allied ve heavy vehicles. It's very good at dealing with Allied heavy vehicles for the most part, and tanks in general. Well, it's uh, starting to get a little bit uh, warmed up about this, or fired up about it. This Stukasufus could probably do a lot of damage here if it acts, acts quick. Oh yeah, it's firing. Doing a creeping barrage, actually, I think. Oh yeah, that's one Churchill down. And the other one is immobilized. Yep. That's the power of the Stukasufus right there. I wouldn't attack it from the front, though. He smoked it. I'm just trying to push up. There's a hidden buffer though. I don't think these guys have the, uh, the uh, explosive mine though. That's why you don't want to be too close to it. Oh, there's no active threat here to the Panther at the moment. It's that three inch. It's a tank. We try to improve things. That's exactly what the Churchill uh, voice actor says. That's funny. Oh, I think the Panther is going to deal with the Shermans now. Oh, free engine is going to be in trouble. Oh, yeah, high explosive killed them there. Light opening fire here now. Well, now the Shermans against the Panthers. The Panthers are going to beat that handily. Because this is not EC8s, this is just normal 76s. Churchill's trying to push up here again. 
And the Yak Panzer being called in by the uh, British. And the British, the SS. Ugh. The deal with the British is what I'm saying. Well, Path was going for a flank here, could actually reach the Calliope. It looks like the SS defense is being overrun by the Calliope at the moment. But these Panthers are going to have to work overtime. Panther... Oh, come on, it's almost down. Panthers are slowly pushing through, though. I don't think the Allies have what it takes to stop these unless they divert some stuff. There's some Panzer 4J arriving to help supplement. But you can only have two Panthers on the field at a time, I believe. You know that? Yeah, you can only have two on the field at a time, because they are that effective. The Panzer 4J is leading the way there. But a Comet should be able to kill that. Basically. Sherman down to the Panthers. The Panthers have broken through. But the British are trying to break through up here slowly themselves. Maybe artillery going in. And that's not heavy artillery, it's just light. It is forcing them to back off. And I think the Calliope should focus on the Panthers now if they can. But it might be too late. If that comma cannot hold. Oh, comma took a very big shot there. Oh, I'm being called. That's a very bad timing. Um, uh, be right back. Uh, my apologies. My grandmother just called me. <laughs> but you should not notice any difference. You're right back at the action here with the Panthers pushing up on the Allied base. I don't think the Allies can hold for much longer at this rate. As these Panthers just punch through the Allies. Despite all the free inches arriving. Took us a first opening fire. Aiming for the uh, Allied push up here. Go over to the immobilizing to Churchill. Dark Panzer got destroyed by something there. Looks like it might have been a lucky penetrating shot. Panthers are just shredding through everything. If the Panthers flank up here, I think that Churchill might be gone. Yeah, it's definitely going for it. Ah, the other rake of the Churchill's in the way. With one good shot there. You got the Panthers coming in. And then the Panzerfaust the killing it. Oh, it shows on the field, but I don't think it'll be enough. Four Panzer for Jays arriving behind us. Dota injured on the Panther. Ooh, good flanking shot there from a uh, free inch. Was the Panthers to pull back for repairs. The Allies have lost most of the map at this point. Or Calliope is coming, probably one of the few weapons they can utilize effect efficiently to destroy the Panthers at long range. Uh, but now the Panzer 4 j is pushing up. Which the free inches could pierce easier. Easier, so. That's at least something. And the Jagdpanzer being called in by the Waffen-SS here. Ready for action. Alright, for a minute, getting some good shots at the Hauptsturm field, forcing him off. And the Churchill's on the front line here. Beat the charge. Uses smoke to obscure the infantry behind it.
Panzer 4J heading northwards. I guess now that the Panzer Divisions has arrived, they're starting to get the equipment they need. Just push the Allies back. Not a comment is being prepared by the Allies, though. Air yeah, Panzer heading the way first. We probably have some other units scouting for it, though. This 2 f eights command to the field can be loaded with high explosives to deal with all the infantry. Can I be opening fire? Are they aiming for the SS base at the base up here? I guess, I guess it is a very obvious target. But jumps out securing an orphan fuel as well. And Panzer 4 is moving very rapidly in Blitzkrieg mode. Got a Calliope opening fire. Probably aiming for here as well. Yep. Oh, and got some good shots on the F8. And the Panthers are moving. Being inside an ambush though, but I don't think it'll be enough. The frontal armor on these Panthers is just too, too thick. Both are looting high explosive shells for each respective target. One has to back off though. You know, the Panzer Group is on the flank here. Panzer 4, GA up here has to move back. Panzer first on the 80 gun destroying it. Good shot there from the Yak Panther. Yak Panzer. Oh, but Patrick is shot from the Churchill. Churchill down. I'm just trying to go for it. Didn't work out this time. The Americans are the ape. The Americans are definitely down on a lot of uh, equipment now. The British are still recuperating somewhat easier. They have a lot of resource stockpile. But the Buffett test seems to be in the upper hand at the moment. I have the upper hand at the moment. And it'll be long before the Allies have to throw in a towel. Brits are trying to make a push up here though. They actually have a veteran to fire lieutenant. Probably very good at buffing the troops at the moment. But the Germans are still pushing up here. Armored in the center. Salt brigades pushing up with the tunnels. I'm trying to get a flanking shot in there, but there's too many free inches. I should note the free inch, despite being a bigger gun, does not mean it's as better as penetration. I sort of, uh, it just means it does more damage if it penetrates. Smaller AT guns can actually have a very high penetration value, by the way. Which surprises some people. That, that comment is gone, I think. Oh no, the free inch can get a good flanking shot there. The Panther has to back off. Don't want to risk your heavy tank. Well, it's not a heavy tank, but you don't want to risk your tanks like that. Based on the Panther. Our well, Panzer 4J is here. Still the same ones, I feel, actually. The IP opening fire. Aiming for the Stukas of Fuss. Got it! Getting it! Panzer Force on the, on the march. Running into a new Comet. Going to obscure their retreat there. It's the British infantry to do their best to push up here, but more of the 17 SS is nearby. Trying to push up with MP40s and support the MD34, but they're taking heavy losses. Like a tank coming in now for the SS Panzer. MP42 cutting down the uh, rifleman there. More rifle coming up though. Just got a report of an infantry unit being wiped out. Receiving effective fire! Incoming fire! And we have the Panzer just cutting through these guys. Oh my god. 
That goes so fast. That's what you heard, an awful flank again. That's not enough AT. Heat loaded, but she's not going to do much against infantry, I feel. Yeah, didn't even hit. Life opening fire again. They're trying to take out the Panthers. Germans pushing up aggressively now. Triple Storm Pioneer is being prepared by Kenki. Up to help repair duties and just get some infantry in the field. Oh, that's a risky move with the Yak Panzer. Because that's a Comet. And the closer it is, the higher chance the Comet has to penetrating. Didn't penetrate! Ooh, that's probably the luckiest choice that could be for Kenki at the moment. Oh, but he missed because he's moving! German tanks do not have high accuracy on the move, unlike Allied tanks, well, British and American ones. Because the Germans don't have a stabilizer inside for the turret. But now we now have a Tiger tank arriving as well. All of the heavy armor. Instead of being called, but I don't think I'll do much to Panzer IV. Oh, that's smoke, okay. Another common arriving. I guess it's the best shot the allies have. A3 has survived as well. Let's be very cautious however they use that. But just to five Panzer with this down there. Pan for leading away. I think the Wachter says has this. Unless that comet is a miracle worker, I think it's over. Look the miracle worker, got a penetration. Got a penetration. Oh no, penetration on the second one though. Supply lines being cut. And the allies are almost base locked, but the allies are trying to push through uh, here with a flank. Thanks to the A3. Ready, ready, That's too many Germans though, I feel. Well, up here they're still pushing up there. Oh, coming is down! Oh, and now here comes the tiger down here. And the first assault brigade is coming up here quick. I don't think it'll do much because of the panther. The base that was just onto the base five lieutenant. And here comes the tiger. That A3 is gone. Yeah, one shot. Lost. The Yak Pants is just driving into the base now. I'm trying to hunt the Calliope's. Oh, he can lay damage charges? I don't know the lieutenant can do that. Because that's what he's doing. Or trying to, anyway. Oh, here comes the Tiger on the other flank. High explosive load to deal with the AT. Oh, yeah. The Allies could just surrender at this point, in all honesty. The Allies don't have anything to do with the Tiger, finally. Keep it front of the Americans and uh, use the machine guns. <laughs> Take that pingle gunner! <laughs> At least Robertus is having some fun. <laughs> That's good to see. Under 
Yeah, but they're base locked now. Yeah, at this point, they surrender. Good call. That's a little bit too late of a call, but interesting match. I enjoyed it. A lot of heavy metal today. I'll see you on the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.